Uh, let's move on to the next question. This one from Garfield. Yes. The Garfield. <laughs> Hi, DFT. <laughs> yeah, it must be literally the, 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 the comics character. Um, anyway, um, Garfield says, Hi, DF team. After finally seeing some current gen only game releases this year, I was wondering if this generation would continue to be plagued by noisy and ghostly visual quality. If modern games need to upscale from sub 1080p to even reach 30 FPS, are we sure we really want to move to highly expensive real time effects at any cost? Cross gen games actually look and feel much superior at this point compared to slightly accurate but highly noisy and artifact ridden current gen only games or do you think this is mostly devs getting used to the new consoles right after the difficulties of developing in a pandemic what are your thoughts on this alex i think from my yeah. perspective it's you know it's kind of like um I'm not, hopefully it'll be up by now but your video on the first generation of unreal engine 5 games it's basically growing pains at this point right and it is just yeah. the beginning of the journey really and there have been some issues i mean, I mean even alan wake 2 on consoles does have some image quality concerns yeah I and um, about them, man. yeah i mean what do you make of this i mean well if you're gonna be you're eating up to push those next gen visuals like garfield says um <laughs> garfield uh, you, you're you eating up a lot of the compute power just to push those next-gen visuals, so you then start pushing back on resolution, and we're fine with that to a certain degree, obviously. Uh, when it does get down to FSR, like, I, want, I don't want to just say FSR 2 is a big issue in this, but it is a part of it. Like, you have to think about ways to scale that resolution and effects quality and all these other things down to a way to make it a great at i don't think there's been 30 fps games that have really big image quality issues i think probably alan wake 2 is um, pretty fine at 30 fps with its image quality obviously it could be better but uh, i think it's mainly in these 60 fps modes is where image quality issues start being the big deal and that's when people start complaining about it the most and at that point it is just kind of goes with the territory it's hard to complain so much so when you know like these these things are very expensive to render at that point um i think it's good for if developers if you don't like that trend um it's probably good to make a deal about it online on the internet uh so developers start targeting 60 fps maybe by not using next gen technologies or I mean, there's the fact that Unreal Engine 5 is going to keep evolving over time that Rich just talked about. So it, I imagine it will get better over time. I think I think maybe devs should look at using TSR instead of FSR 2 sometimes as another thing. And uh, lastly, if you're really upset about um, the image quality you're getting there on the console, there's always ways to go above that if you just look at a PC. Uh, it's more expensive, obviously. Uh, but you get what you pay for to a certain degree. So um, it's a bit of a tough luck that I'm saying to you, like tough luck Gar Garfield, but like it will get better. But like also there's only so much you can do with a certain amount of silicon. And I, I don't want to fault devs too much for saying like, yeah, 60 FPS doesn't have great image quality always. It's kind of mm -hmm. just like it happens. It happens. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Charlie Brown's sitting there pretty with his <laughs> RTX DLSS, isn't he? <laughs> yeah, he is probably. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Um, okay, uh, I think that's fair enough. John, what's your thoughts on image quality for these new games? It's, uh, it, it is, I mean, you know, when Jedi Survivor came in, it, it was it was, it bad. was a bit of a. I yeah, think uh, I don't think it's this bad across the board, but I think there have been some key releases where it's pretty bad, and maybe it is due to pushing this stuff. But I also think we've seen an increased reliance on FSR two. And I kind of feel like there's a little bit of this magic bullet syndrome going on where they're like, well, you know, this promises to let us render lower res internally and still get X result, when in reality, it's not actually the case. Yeah. And it's more, I actually, I don't want to fault FSR2 here too much. It's not so much, FSR2 can look amazing. It's more that I think that developers are perhaps pushing it a little bit too far like trying to upscale from way too low resolutions. And I actually think they've just gone too far with it. And it sort of breaks what FSR2 can do. It's not intended to be used at these absurd resolutions. Like I think what was that, that Lords of the Fallen thing, which I, I know that got 
there will be a video, I think, still happening, but it keeps getting pushed yeah, back due to yeah. patches that keep happening. They keep patching over and over and over again. Every it's, day. Like, but what I mean, do you do? You can't cover that. I was oh looking at that screen Tom sent of when the game was on Series S running at 576 by 324 resolution at seven frames per second. The <sighs> image quality and just the way it looked was so yep. bad. I mean, the. And that shot in particular was funny because the performance and image quality is actually worse than like Shadow of the Colossus running in 480p on a PS2 and much That's worse, it. especially because of the attempt at upscaling. I say attempt when you're down to resolutions like that, like it just doesn't work. It's bad. It's broken. And I think we need people to realize that these reconstruction solutions have limitations. There is like a minimum you yeah. need to hit. And I think that's what's causing a lot of these issues is it's just games going too far below it and i do actually think that scaling back in other ways might behoove them as well uh there's got to be but finding that right right balance is difficult right and yeah maybe this is all learnings that will happen we'll see mm, especially on series s yeah yeah well series s is potentially useful in that it kind of sets like this minimum requirement that maybe has a positive impact on the other machines right is it, is, yeah. If you got to run on Series S, I mean, conceivably without the Series S, who knows how low they would go with the other ones? Yeah, right. Like they have to. Just, like there's a minimum threshold of quality that Series S kind of has. Series S, though, I, man, it is. Yeah. Free, like I've been playing some old PS3 and 360 stuff somewhat recently through the RetroTink 4K, and I, I, I do actually think that image quality is kind of worse now in some ways. I get than what we were getting mean. there. Yeah. Like you play like a 360 game with like MSAA enabled versus like this like 324p Series S game with reconstruction, and it it genuinely looks much better. 60 in the FPS 360 modes, game. man. These 60 so, FPS modes again. That was another 60 FPS mode special, I think. Though, yeah, that Xbox well, Series yes, S. it was technically yeah. in the 60 FPS mode. It was just <laughs> down it's running. All of it's seven it was running FPS. at seven FPS, which I believe yeah. they fixed, by the way. Yeah, uh, yeah. So it's hard to know. Oh my god. So we don't. Yeah, but like. I would like to see if more Series S games maybe just didn't have a 60 FPS mode then. I mean, I like the option. Everything's yeah. always an option. Give it give it the option to go down to 320p, whatever. I had a feeling but, this was going to be the at case At least launch, have a 30 though. FPS mode. Because I remember Dirt yeah. 5 came out and had its 120 FPS mode on Series S. And that's like freaking, it looks like 480p or something. It's yeah, it super is. nasty looking. Uh, and oh, this opens up a whole other discussion about resolutions, though, because having a low pixel count does not inherently mean your game will look bad. It's all about the combination of display type, the way it's scaled or not scaled to that display type. Like, you know, 640 by 480 on a good VGA PC CRT monitor, as you know, Alex looks awesome. Mm -hmm. It's so, it's so beautiful looking 480p upscaled with FSR (laughs) two and then output to 4k and blown up on a large flat panel screen. Looks bad. My goodness. Yeah. It's a very different beast. It's switch on a okay. you know on a but large any, HD. Panel okay, sorry, Rich. Which, you know, just yeah. t- too much tangent. 